Welcome everyone to Apple One to One, a special episode extra this week as Apple introduced a brand new app that is going to bring people together for life's special moments. They introduced the Apple Invite app, and this is working in conjunction with iCloud. And if you are an iCloud Plus subscriber, you can create invitations and anyone can RSVP regardless if they have an Apple account or Apple device. So we're going to go through on how to set up one of these. In fact, this is perfect timing because I have my 40th birthday coming up. So we're going to make something up here. But if you want to go through in the newsroom, they did have a press release regarding this. I already downloaded the app. This is going through this the first time. I have never used it before. So what you're seeing is live in the moment. So let's go into the app. It looks like a very colorful envelope. It tells me you want to receive an invitation, tap the link if you were sent. So one thing you have to be sure of is that you first off have to be an iCloud Plus subscriber. So basically if you have iCloud and you're paying a, a plan, you basically have it. And the person who has to accept this has to have a Apple account. So just make sure that they have to use an Apple account to sign into it. So now it's telling me welcome to Apple invites. I'm going to create an event here. We're going to start off right away with my birthday. So that's why we're going to start this off here. We're going to hit add background to it. And right away, they already have some pre-made colors here. I could do like a birthday one. So we're going to go through it, but I also want to do my own. So if I go to my photos, I actually created an already invitation on here. So I'm going to use this as a, as a as a template so i have my birthday party coming up so i went through my own photo but again you can uh by the way go backwards and close it if you want i can also go back and edit the background i could adjust the background change the background or remove it so if i want to go to one of their pre-made options i could choose that but we'll go back to edit background change background i'm going to go to photos all right, so we're going to put my birthday party that I created in there. So we're going to call it, yes, I am a pro wrestler, by the way. I'm doing my last wrestling show. So if anybody wants to come to New Jersey and uh, check this out. So we're going to call it TLDs, because that's my wrestling name. And no, I'm not going to tell you what it means. TLDs birthday party. And we could do different boldness, but I kind of like the original. Let's find it. Uh, or we could try something that matches it. There we go. Date and time. So we're going to put that down. It's going to be on april 26th even though my birthday is a different date but you know that's just the way it works out and it starts at 3 p.m and include a end time so i'll do that I'm, uh, 6 p.m actually is the right time uh, there's an all day option here as well if i wanted to but i'm not going to do that and then i'm going to go to location and i'm going to put down where we're having it so jersey dugout oh it's actually popping up with a location thing i'm gonna say while well, using the app i don't mind that jersey dugout okay great there we go and we're going to hit done. All right. And now it's telling me the weather, temperature, rain. So it's adding this in here. Also, I can write a description. So I could say, come and check out my final match. Food and drinks provided. Photo booth also. Uh, I can put my host name in there. So I can just put there. We'll put my, myself just because I'm, you know, I'm very into myself here. Okay. So we have that. And now we have the weather, we have the directions, I'll create a full album for this event. So I can create an album that people can share it with. So I'm going to go create album, hit full access, just so I want it to be able to do it, till these, and I'll call it 40th birthday party. Hit done. I love this because it's great that people can, a lot of times there's paid services where you have to do this, but I would love to have a, a shared album where people could take photos and share it. Share a playlist with there, so I can add a playlist too to it. I really don't have a wrestling, I mean, it could be my wrestling playlist or something, but I really don't have one. We'll put rock just because anyone will be able to link and be able to edit and reorder the song. So I'm not going to do that. I don't necessarily need that. Uh, all right. So now I'm going to go to preview and this is what it looks like. So when people are going to, when you're sending this out to people, you can tap going, not going, and maybe hosting, weather, location, shared album. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to hit next. And now it's preparing the invitation. This is exciting. Now you have a few ways you could do that. So you can send it via messages, which is well, something I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want you know other people's names to be showing up here. You can mail it to people. You could share the link, and you can copy the link. So I'm going to copy it. And then it tells me notifications. So this is great if you want to be notified if someone accepted or didn't. So I'm going to hit continue and hit allow. And then create an individual guest. So now I can st send a one-time link to a guest. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through this and kind of blur it out. It's even offering to send it to all the contacts, which, <laughs> uh, no. And we're going to hit close. 
So we're not going to do that. Now going back to this page, there's a couple other boxes up here. So at the top right corner, there is event settings. You could approve guests, so when turned on, you must approve new guests, which I don't need to do. Remove background preview. Uh, only show the background image to guests after they've opened the invitation. Accessibility, background image description, so in case people are blind. You could duplicate, cancel the event, or pause replies, or delete it. So you have a whole bunch of options here. Uh, but now I'm done, so I'm gonna hit close. And we're done. So now we have a party here ready to go. And I can now share this out to everybody. And then if I wanted to, I can actually add it right to my calendar. If I wanted to. So that's where the calendar button came in. I could put this right in here if I wanted to. Uh, I don't necessarily need to do that. And then on the dots, I can go back and edit, duplicate, or go to the event settings again and change that. But this is the event. And I'm done. So now it has it here. And then if I hit the plus sign, I can go ahead and start doing this again. There is other options as well for playgrounds. So you can use Apple Intelligence if you would like to create something on its own. So they're already giving me a bunch of themes. So I'm just going to create a fake one here just for fun. Uh, if I wanted to do one on my own, I'm put wrestling, yellow. I'm going to put wrestling. I'm going to put yellow. I will say, this is really slow. I, I you know, it, um, emoji, uh, just so if it will take an emoji of me. I don't know if it's going to do that. But this is, this is where Apple Intelligence is not great. It just takes a long time to do something. I'm going to put myself in there. So hopefully what it's good, I'm going to take away the emoji thing. I don't need that. So I'm going to have it create something with the yellow color, my name, myself, and then the wrestling in here. And hopefully it creates something somewhat good. Uh, okay, that is really odd. I don't like that <laughs> at all. Um, but okay. But yeah, okay, so yes, I'm bald. I'm going bald, I understand that. Uh, but you could use Image Playgrounds if you wanted to do it. I'm not gonna do this, so I'm gonna cancel that. But again, going through this, you can have different events, and then inside of, I'm gonna create a fake event. We're gonna call it Test. That way you can see all the different uh, times. So I'm gonna do All Day Today, uh, and then just hit Preview, and don't worry about all that stuff. We kind of went through everything, so I don't have to do it. But I wanted to show you more than one invitation in there. So now you can see upcoming. And then if you tap on upcoming, you can see past events, drafts. So if you're if you're going to go back later on and look at it, hosting, if I'm hosting or someone else, and attending. So you can see events that you're attending. You can see events you're hosting, drafts, which I have none. You can create a draft, uh, past events, and then upcoming. And I love this. I think this is a really cool tool. A lot of people that I talk to, are Apple users, so I don't see this being too much of an issue. The only thing I have seen is if someone is going to accept the invitation, a lot of times, because we have two-factor authentication turned on, I have seen where it like requires that, and so you're kind of signing into your Apple account. It's a little annoying. I don't know if it's a little different online, but it is a little weird. So that is the Apple invitation app. I think this is pretty cool. This was actually a perfect like time for this. In fact, I already kind of did something on Facebook already, or else I would have probably done something like this. I think this is really neat. So anyone that's going to the birthday party, I'm probably going to just give this link to them so they can share their photos up there. I would love that. Uh, it'd be great for me to have all this stuff and people could just make it right there. And that's it. So that is the Apple Invite app. Really cool app to use. Uh, I definitely recommend checking this out. And thank you guys for this quick tutorial on the Apple Invites. And Try it out for yourself. I love every single one of you.